quadrilateral PQRS prime is similar to quadrilateral PQRS, where PQ, R, and S correspond to P prime, Q, R, and S prime, respectively. Now, I'm going to draw, before I go any further, before I get into you know, what these angles are, I am just going to draw a quadrilateral. I know it's not going to be right. It's not going to be to scale, but it's going to help me visualize what's going on here. And that's an awful one. Let's go. <laughs> Do something like this. I don't know if that is anything like it. The odds are not in my favor. It looks like it's going to be very different from what the actual quadrilateral is, but I'm just doing this so that I can have a nice point of reference for it. So I am going to label this as my, my prime one. P prime, Q prime, R prime, S prime. It's hard to say. And then it's similar to another quadrilateral. So I'm going to try to draw like a little, I'm going to guess smaller. I don't know yet. A smaller version scaled up or down. In this case, I'm guessing scaled down, but I don't know yet because I haven't read the rest of the problem. And that's PQRS. Now, similar figures are scale versions of each other. So you could scale up or scale down, make it bigger or smaller, and they would line up perfectly on top of each other. The other thing to know about them is that their angles, their corresponding angles are always congruent. So let's go and see what information they're given us with that in mind. Next sentence says the measure of angle P is 30 degrees. Okay. Angle P here is 30 degrees. Well, the corresponding angle P prime is 30 degrees then. Corresponding angles are congruent. Next information, the measure of angle Q is 50. All right, so 50. Angle Q is 50 and Q prime would be 50. And the measure of angle R is 70. Okay, 70. R prime would be 70. The length of each side of the P prime, Q prime, etc. is three times the length of each corresponding side of PQRS. So I'm going to say, represent that on my picture by saying, okay, well, if this side were X, this side over here, P prime to Q prime would be three times as big or 3X. Okay, so now I have a nice visual representation of all the information they've given me. Let's look at the question there we're being asked after all that. What is the measure of angle P prime? Now, if you were like me when you read this, you're probably expecting them to have you figure out what S prime is or figure out the lengths of one of these sides or something. And no, really, all they're asking is the measure of angle P prime which is right here which we determined way back up here that it was 30 degrees. So literally all this other information <laughs> is extraneous and doesn't matter at all. But they're testing that you can kind of pierce through all of that verbiage and find that one critical piece of information. Since P is 30, then the corresponding angle of P prime would also be 30. B is my answer. Be sure to head over to my stores on Spreadshop and Etsy for math-related merch, worksheets, classroom decor, and more. And if this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.